Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the TikTok podcast hosted by your host, me, Danico Jalen Tart, creator of the TikTok podcast, content creator, videographer, graphic designer. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. But with that being said, like I said, hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for all the new viewers who are here for the very first time. Make sure you guys go give us a review in the comments what you guys think of the podcast and let me know. Thank you for all of the new viewers and like I said, returning viewers. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we're going to be discussing a few things on the TikTok pod here with your boy. I'm opening up my Notion app right now. We actually have for the very first time a single, as in me alone, hosting the show with a video, uh, what do you, whatever you want to call it, asset as well, along with the audio only. So if you guys want to go watch the video, it's going to be my YouTube channel, Danico Tart One. That's youtube.com slash C slash Danico Tart One. That's D-E-N-I-K-O-T-A-R-T-T One. And like I said today, I'm pulling up my podcast outline notes. Your boy has some snacks here. I got the cinnamon sticks right here. Your boy loves the cinnamon sticks from Jets. They're literally cinnamon Side note, cinnamon and icing are the best dessert there is. It's just a fact. And got a nice big glass of water here. Got to stay hydrated. And so make sure you go follow TikTok Pod on Twitter. That's at TikTok P-O-D. And on Instagram as well. That's, like I said, TikTok Pod on Twitter on Twitter and Instagram. Today we're going to be talking about the CDL, some of the Roster Mania stuff, the Vanguard Beta that just happened for PS4. The one that's happening today as I'm recording this for PC. Talk about some COD Mobile stuff. Talk about some Battlefield 2042 stuff along with some stuff that just got leaked today or not leaked, but they just announced today. And we're also gonna talk about you take a few things TikTok, a few things YouTube. So make sure you guys stay tuned till the very end and let's get right into the podcast. So first of all, we got the Vanguard beta that was just on PS4. Now. I didn't play it because I will not be buying the PS4 version of Vanguard. I wanted to buy the PC version, but we'll get into that in a minute. But like I, I don't know if I said this already, but the PS4 is not going to be able, that was like one of the biggest things that people were saying, probably the biggest thing people said about Vanguard in regards to the PS4, which is that it's not made for the last gen, it looks like. So it was frame dropping city, I guess, and it was just a really bad experience for I mean, I'm assuming that it wasn't like horrible because they probably wouldn't put out something that was just absolutely horrendous, but that was like the main point that people were making was that it look, it doesn't feel like it's made for last gen. It feels like it's made for the next gen, you know, five, PlayStation 5 and Xbox One. And so that is something that we have to consider when it comes to getting this game, boys and girls. Are you guys going to be buying it on PC or buying it on next gen? Because it does not look like this game is going to be, you know, something that if you're a serious gamer, or something that you would want to be playing long term on a last gen console. Because like I said, you get dropped frames. It's just overall, to put it shortly, it's not going to be run at the best it could be. All of a sudden, I'm honestly a little bit more excited for Battlefield 2042. And it's unfortunate that today actually uh on september 16th as i'm recording this like i said uh they delayed it now only got delayed until november 19th so another month and a, a couple days earlier than the 22nd so that's cool but yeah it got delayed today and that's just a little thing but back to vanguard we'll get to battlefield before the podcast is over um, as of right now, there's no hard point. There's only patrol where the hard point is consistently moving throughout the game. And so I'll say it again. There's no hard point as of right now in Call of Duty Vanguard. And how do I feel about that? I don't fucking like it, if I'm being honest. It's not what we need as a competitive community. It's not what we need as a community that wants to move forward. Like, we need one, we need to stop taking out things that are good and trying to make new things. We need to bring the new things back and add on top of the old things that are good already. Because there's no point in taking them out and then getting a new game mode in there that's a flop. Now we have a a space that no one's playing that we wasted a year fixing or whatever and so it's not a good idea in my opinion to make new game modes every year and try to get rid of not try to get rid of the old ones but not bring the old ones back at the very least and so 
Yeah, right now there's no hard point, only control or patrol where the hard point is consistently moving. And I'm assuming it moves through throughout the same path all throughout the game. And so, uh, yeah, we'll see how that is. We'll see how that goes. And I have a link right here. Uh, oh, I just wanted to talk about whatever the Battlefield news was of the day. But, I mean, that's the biggest thing right there. The fact that the game got delayed. Um, I can go actually to, and I will go actually to their socials real quick to, to get the direct statement. New Battlefield 2042 open beta release date leaked after recent delay. All right, an update from the Battlefield team. We've made a decision to shift the launch battle of Battlefield 2042. The game will now be released worldwide on November 19th, 2021. Building the next generation of Battlefield during a global pandemic has created unseen challenges in our development teams. Given the scale and scope of the game, we had hoped our teams would be back in studios together as we move toward launch with ongoing conditions not allowing that to happen safely and with all the hard work the teams are doing from home we feel it's important to take extra time to deliver on the vision of battlefield 2042 for our players your enthusiasm your enthusiasm for our game has been very inspiring we believe in our game that we are making and we thank you for putting up with our patience as we put the finishing touches on the experience updates on op op on the open beta will be coming later this month uh and so that is what they have to say on that matter. And I'm not mad at it. You know, at this point, if we're not getting anything like cyberpunk, then I'm happy. So as long as we're the game that is nine tenths developed and ready to get put out, I'm happy. I'm not trying to have another cyberpunk. That's literally all I care about. Um, us not pulling one of those. And so next we got COD Mobile Esports. Not too much I want to say on the fact on the matter. Um, when it comes to this, I just have it in here because there was a recent uh, championship and it was presented by Xperia from Sony and they had up more than $2 million up in prize pool grabs, up in prize pools and uh, it was like a regional, a regional type thing and overall uh, it was pretty big and I don't know I didn't tune in at all though so let me guys let me know if you guys did in the comments or if you guys even knew about it because I don't think I knew about it until it was over I still haven't looked into it at all so I don't even know if it's over yet but I'm gonna go ahead and pop a cinnamon a cinnamon stick in here right now if you guys have some food I encourage you to eat it with you eat it with me um, let me know if you guys have heard about this headline before talking about it today. TikTok surpasses YouTube in viewing time per user. Meaning, meaning the average person who watches, who spends time, who spends time on both apps, spends more time on YouTube, on TikTok now, watching stuff. And so... What does it have to say? That short form content, I guess you could say almost literally has officially overtaken the attention of people in the sense of, in the, pe in the sense of uh, people who watch stuff on their phone, I should say. Strictly, if, if people watch stuff strictly on their phone or on the phone at all, it doesn't matter if it's strictly or not. Um, they watch more TikTok. Bro, talking is a fucking work, is a fucking job. Next on the topic, um, the U in the UK, TikTok surpassed YouTube in June 2020. And in the US, TikTok and YouTube went head to head last year before TikTok came out on top in April 20 in 2021, according to the report. TikTok is also ranked amongst the most downloaded app worldwide in 2021 apps with live streaming are also seeing a surge in money spent on creators so apps that are investing in the creators right now that are on live streaming platforms are seeing a good roi and 
in my opinion, it's going to be YouTube versus Twitch in the live streaming industry, which has already has been for a while. Hopefully, you know, maybe there's another one out there that's going to pop up one of these days. But if YouTube keeps taking big creators from Twitch because they're giving them bags and security and things of that nature, then I feel as a I feel that it's going to be a matter of time before YouTube also rules out an extremely over big overhaul for their um, live streaming software, and it just takes it to the, to the next level. Like they're obviously not any thing to play with like they're a big fucking company they're not just sitting there oh, oh this is good enough like they're working the fucking compared to the creator studio the live streaming studio has nothing and so i can only imagine how it's going to look in two to three years time i guarantee there's going to be an update for it within the next two years and they're probably going to roll those out in some shape or form periodically because they have to and what they're doing now by bringing people over from twitch is good but it's um i don't know i would say that it's not a good business move but i don't know because i mean at the end of the day they most likely have like an infinite amount of money so either way um nonetheless uh not too much more i wanted to talk about i'm pretty sure I don't want to keep you guys here and drag the podcast on for too long. Um, I am currently checking on my computer if there's anything else right now, so bear with me. Uh, There's nothing else right now. So, I mean, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for your time. Go make sure you follow the podcast, like I said, on YouTube, at DenicoTart1, Twitter, TikTok Pod, and Instagram, TikTok pod leave a review because it helps the podcast out you know get ranked higher in the search results and i would greatly appreciate it how'd you guys enjoy the podcast if you enjoyed it at all uh and yeah thank you for your time thank you for listening and i appreciate it and have a great day